Hey guys, shoot to 5,000. Um, here I have my KT-17 out of my 782 Cub Cadet. Uh, it's the red version, so it's an international. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to set your air gap on the PTO because not a lot of people know or not a lot of people understand what they're talking about. So... I'm going to show you right here. You got your rotor, which is behind this plate here. I don't know if I can show it to you. Yeah, I guess you can see it. Your rotor right here, which mounts against the field, the magnet. And uh, what you want to do is get the armature, which is this, what the pulley is hit on here. So as you spin it, you got the rest of that there. This is the brake. Um, what you want to do is take your feeler gauges, um, I set mine to 12 thousandths, I actually want 10 thousandths, but uh, 12 is what I have here, and uh, that's what I do. So, what you do is, you take it and you insert the feeler gauge into this, these three slots. There's three of them, one here, as you can see, we've got one here and one on the bottom. And uh, what you do is you stick it in here, and you tighten up these nuts here until you got some drag which right now I already have some that's a little too much and uh, it's a little loose Oop. and you just get it just so it's dragging pretty good um, do this other one here See, it's a little loose Alright, that's not bad. And there's one on the bottom. This one is a little bit harder to get to, especially when it's in the tractor. Um, gotta go pretty much right up. Now, I've already done all this. I've already adjusted it all. and um, Or pretty much adjusted it all. Just showing you guys how to do it. Uh, that way, when someone asks you to adjust the air gap, you know what to do. So, uh, yeah, now this should be pretty tight. Um, but yeah, just turn the nuts in, put your feeler gauge in here, do that all three spots. Maybe give it a few turns, you know, and then recheck it because uh, there could be some either rust in there or some dirt or whatever, crumbs, whatever. So uh, do that a couple times and uh, check it again and uh, get it down to 10 thousandths. That's what my manual says. It could be different for different engines. But uh, for this KT-17, that's what they want. Um, I actually had an issue before of the PTO not engaging when it was hot. And the whole problem was the air gap because it was not adjusted right and it was... I think it was around 40 to 50 thousands it would not engage after you know running it for 10 minutes so uh, there you go guys uh, try it out see if that's what your problem is and uh, check it so uh, we'll see you guys later